When we think of systems thinking, most of us think of Peter Senge and his classic book, The Fifth Discipline. But systems thinking, the first instance of systems thinking that I've seen recorded, is by W. Edwards Deming, who used uh, systems thinking in his model of production, first published in the 1950s at an international conference at uh, Mount uh, Hakone in Japan. Uh, Deming serves as a nice point-counterpoint with the standard um, American management system and its founder, Frederick Winslow Taylor. Taylor believed in open-loop process thinking. You have a job, you have a series of tasks, execute them step by step. Deming is a proponent of closed-loop systems thinking. In the closed-loop system thinking, the feedback loop of the system provides the opportunity to learn and to improve. It's been shown clearly that in product development, when managed by Taylor's system, uh, we have uh, counterproductive uh, activities um, and low productivity. When we apply Demings, we have nothing but good. It's probably not surprising if you think about it. Taylor worked in, uh, as his firsthand experience, was as a laborer in a machine shop. Deming's firsthand experience in work was as a researcher in the agriculture department, and he had a close working relationship with and was mentored by a famous researcher, Walter Schuhart, of Bell Laboratories. So if we're looking for a management system that is appropriately applied to the knowledge workers in product development, whom do you think would be more appropriate? The, the one from the man with first-hand experience in a machine shop or the one from the man with first-hand experience as one of us as a knowledge worker? Mm -hmm.